welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new stamp set, Say What Pets, and its coordinating dies. And we're also introducing Critter Chatter Pets. And these stamp sets are so fun, they work great on their own and together. The other really cool thing about Say What Pets is that it works with our Say What gift tags. So now you can take these gift tags from Christmas to all year round. Today in this video, we're going to be creating three tags and two different cards, and I can't wait to show you them. So let's go ahead and start stamping out these really cool stamp sets. First up, we have the cute dog from Say What Pets. There's also a cat in the set and a super cute bird on his little perch. There's a speech bubble, and then there's all these phrases that either fit in the speech bubble or fit on the Say What gift tags. So we have a treat for you. Have a possum birthday, I rough you, you're the cat's meow, to a possum friend, you're so tweet. We also have rough, meow, and the to and from that are perfect for the gift tag. We also have that cute little paw print, which I just love, and a music note for the bird. Now next up we have the Critter Chatter stamp set and you're going to see that it has all these different critter words that you can mix and match with this cool translation idea. So we have all these cat words. We have meow, meow, purr, meow, meow, and another meow. We also have bark, woof, aroo, <laughs> I'm just laughing saying all of these, woof, a bow wow, and also another woof. And I love the mix and match of the fonts in this set. Then we have a tweet, a chirp, a chirp in a different font, tweet tweet, which is super cute. We have squawk. <laughs> and then we have another chirp in another font. And then we have some words that work really well for a fish. And there's great fish in the keep on swimming stamp set that's perfect for this. And we have splash, bloop, a different bloop, then we have bloop, <laughs> splish splash, which is my favorite one, I think, and then another bloop in a fun font. Now here is the translation idea. So there's two different types of fonts for translation, depending on if you need smaller or larger. And then we have all these different occasions for the translation. So we have happy birthday, I love you, hello, thanks, hooray, and then I appreciate you. We also have the phrase a lot, which you can add to the ends of these phrases. And also, can I have a treat? Then we have question marks and exclamation points in different fonts that you can add to the ends of these words. So I love these fun words. I love the translation idea. The other cool thing is you can do translation and use any sentence from any other stamp set. The other fun thing about Critter Chatter is that it was created in mind to be able to create your own backgrounds as well. And you'll see that all of these stamps have the same size base to them. So we're gonna line them up. And the best way they line up is to just follow the way they are on the packaging. So I'm gonna put the whole bottom row, like the bottom row of morales and meows, and then I'll have the meows and purrs at the top. And then I can stamp them all over my card, and I'm just going to stamp them in different areas so that the pattern doesn't line right up over each other. And you're gonna see how cool this is we're filling an entire card front with this really awesome meow cat pattern so you can see how cute that is of course you could do the woof the tweet or the splish splash patterns I also like the idea of mixing and matching so that you could have cats and dogs together or the birds and the fish together so here I'm mixing and matching birds cats and dogs building up that whole background again and once again stamping kind of mixing them around the background, making sure that all the words are really random and you can see how cool that looks filling up that whole background. And then you could put the little cat, dog and bird on the card and it would be absolutely adorable. These backgrounds make for a great card base and I'm also gonna show you a different way to use them later in the video. So now we're gonna use Copic markers to color in these cute little images. And I love these little guys so much. They are so much fun. I love that this set works completely on its own, but I also love that it works with the Say What gift tags, that all the phrases fit in both the speech bubble included in the stamp set, and they also fit in the Say What gift tags. The other thing I really love is that you can combine these cute critters with other critters. So you could take dogs from a bunch of different sets and mix and match them. 
There's also a fish bowl and a fish and the keep on swimming stamp set. And that guy is meant to work with these guys too because it goes along with the whole pets theme. So you can mix and match the cat, the dog, and the bird and that fish and fish bowl from keep on swimming. And obviously they work so great with the critter chatter. The critter chatter is super fun because once again, you could mix them with these guys or you can mix them with other stamps in your stash, other dogs and cats, birds, fish, etc. And they make for the cutest backgrounds and we're gonna show you a bunch of fun ideas with them, both in this video and some other videos going forward. These are the coordinating dies for the set, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're going to take that die and line it up with the stamped image and use some post-it note tape there to hold it in place. We'll run it through the die cut machine and now we have that cute little cat, dog, bird, and that fun speech bubble. So first we're gonna start off by making some tags. So we've taken the Say What gift tags and we've cut the frame out of a bunch of colors of cardstock and the base out of a bunch of different colors of cardstock. So we have Sunflower and Sticky Note, Peacock and Mermaid, and then Fake Tan and Apricot. And I love how these colors look stacked together. Originally, the Say What gift tags was created to create Christmas tags, and you can check out the intro to Say What gift tags. I'm going to link it in the description below, uh, and you can see a bunch of cute Christmas ideas. The cool thing about Say What Pets is it takes this die set now into year-round cards with this cute little pet theme. So the first thing we're going to do here is we've die cut another base there out of white cardstock, and we're going to stamp You're the Cat's Meow. Now the Say What gift tags has this cute little speech bubble die, and so you can lay that speech bubble right under that phrase, hold it in place with some low tag tape, run it through the die cut machine, and that's gonna give you this cool speech bubble that's gonna layer in the gift tag that has that really fun saying in it. We're gonna use some liquid glue to attach all of these together. So we'll attach that little speech bubble and then we can attach the frame over it. And you're gonna see how cool that looks. Super quick and easy and super, super adorable. Now next up for the orange tag there, we're gonna use a speech bubble die that's included in the Say What gift tags. We're gonna stamp the I rough you in there, which is super cute. And then we're gonna use the speech bubble that's included in the Say What pet stamp set and we're gonna stamp out your so tweet. Then we'll take some foam squares and we're gonna layer on the speech bubbles and the cute little pets there with some foam squares. So they're just adorable. And I love that little guy. He kind of looks like a little schnauzer or Scotty dog or something. He's just adorable. So there's the I ref you. And then we'll go ahead and add the cat and then we'll work on the bird. The bird's really fun because you can get really creative coloring him or even make him kind of two-toned like a parrot, which is really, really fun too. As a finishing touch, we've taken the hearts from the stitch journaling card, any little heart die would do, and we've cut that from some guava cardstock, and we're gonna layer those onto the tags. And the little hearts are super cute. They almost work like adding little sequins or gems, and they just make it adorable to have those hearts surrounding these cute little characters. Then the last step is to add some coordinating lawn trimmings twine and you have tags that are perfect to put on gifts, either thank you gifts or even birthday gifts. These are so cute and fun. Next up, we're gonna be using a critter chatter with that cute little dog, and we have the spiffy speckles paper out. We're gonna pick out a blue speckled paper. We're also going to die cut one of the green speckled papers with that same stitch rectangle and a white stitch rectangle, and we're just gonna layer all of these together. So we'll add the pattern paper to the white just to give it a little more sturdiness, and then we can stamp the translation, I appreciate you a lot from critter chatter down into the grass. And then we're gonna use a simple grassy hillsides border to cut a little little grass detail with the sentiment underneath. Then we'll add a little foam tape to the back of that grass and layer it on. Now for the background, we're gonna be using a white card base, but to add some cool detail, we're gonna be using a new die that's called the Stitched Speech Bubble Die. And this die is really, really cool because it adds a great detail and it's perfectly sized to work with Critter Chatter. So you're definitely gonna to have to check out the intro video for that that'll be up later today. And so there you can see how cool that looks as a background. I really like all the texture as we layer this cute little scene on top. It especially goes with the whole translation idea, having those speech bubbles in the background. So we're gonna take some of the different dog words from both the Critter Chatter stamp set and we're gonna take the rough from the Say What Pets stamp set too. So I love that these can mix and match. We're gonna stamp in some clear embossing ink on some narwhal cardstock and then we'll cover that with white heat embossing powder and we'll heat it up with our heat tool to have these nice bright white sentiments. 
The next step is to cut these down. So we're gonna use our paper trimmer to trim these down into little kind of squares. And it almost reminds me of one of those Dymo label makers. It's gonna look really, really cool. So we're gonna just trim those all down and then use our scissors to trim the edges. Then we're gonna layer these all in the sky as if the dog is barking over and over again. It's really cute and kind of gives me kind of a comic book feel to it, which is really fun. And so we'll add those on with some foam squares, including the little dog. And then we're gonna take some sequins in rainbow colors and put them all over the card in rainbow order there. So we've got our Roy G. Biv going on. We'll kind of put those all around the card, kind of see where they look nice. And once you've got a good placement there, add a little liquid glue and uh, pick them up and drop them right down. And I love the little extra sparkle and the color that the rainbow sequins add. It's really fun and really cute. And I love that you could do the same idea with the fish, a dog, and a cat, and the bird. So for the next card, we're gonna be using Critter Chatter to create a background. But the first step we're gonna do is creating this really cool rainbow gradient. And we're gonna do that with one of these cool blender brushes and a bunch of Lawn Fawn inks. So we've got some guava ink there. We'll be moving to Peachy Keen, then Sunflower, Carrot, jalapeno, merman, and fresh lavender. And you'll see that I'm overlapping these colors and that's what's giving that nice rainbow gradient. I'm also going back and forth between, for example, the orange and the yellow to make sure I have a nice blend between those colors. You can see that I keep holding open this speech bubble opening and I'll show you why we're gonna be doing that in a little bit. But I'm using that opening as a guide to kind of see where I should place my colors. So now I've moved on to the blue and I love seeing the colors overlap. There's just something so beautiful about it. And you'll see when we add that purple and it overlaps the merman color, it creates the blue in between them, which is really, really gorgeous. You'll see that I had some streaky areas there where I had gotten some extra ink on there by mistake. And so I'm just darkening up that area and making sure that that kind of blends out. And the cool thing is, is actually when these inks dry, you end up not seeing any of those streaks or anything. So here I'm taking some manatee ink and I've set up those stamps with all of the cat words just like we did earlier in the video. And I'm gonna start stamping this out all over the rainbow background. I love seeing these words stamped all over this. It kind of reminds me of a tie-dye look. Now here you're gonna see I made a little bit of mistake there. I didn't stagger my words, but you know what? The pattern still turned out really, really cute. And because we're putting that speech bubble over it, you're not even gonna notice that I did that. It still looks really awesome. Here I took out my really rainbow six by six pad because I figured it went along with the whole rainbow theme. And so we're gonna take this pattern paper there and trim it down to five and a half by four and a quarter as standard size card size. Then next, I'm gonna take one of the new outside in stitched speech bubble dies. And this die is so cool because it creates a stitched opening in the shape of a speech bubble. And so it's gonna be a really fun way to highlight these critter chatter words. So it's super, super cute. You're gonna see once we layer over it. Now, as I started to layer this guy over there, I realized that my rainbow there was kind of shifted a little bit, but that's okay. You'll see how we're gonna fix that in a second. So I also die cut a stitched rectangle frame here out of some guava cardstock, adding a little liquid glue, and we're gonna layer that on top to just frame up that speech bubble and also give a nice bright pop of color all around the edges. Then I'm gonna add a bunch of foam squares all around that opening and we're just gonna layer it kind of down there in the bottom right hand corner because I wanted that purple to really show through. So we're just gonna layer that right up. You can see those cute cat words are perfect. It's also gonna kind of hide my little mistake that I created there when I made the pattern. And then I'm just gonna trim off the excess with my scissors and it's, you're never gonna know what that background looks like. So it looks messy there, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're gonna layer it on the card base, covering up our mess there. And you can see just how how cool those tie-dyed words are looking inside that speech bubble. I'm gonna add on that cute little cat from Say What Pets with some foam squares. And then to add a little extra detail, I've die cut some hearts out of guava cardstock, the same cardstock as the frame, and we're just gonna layer those around. And I love that they're kind of coming up from the cat because the cat's kind of saying how much they love you. Now, one of my favorite ways to use the Critter Chatter stamp set is to have the Critter words on the front, but have the translation be on the inside because then it's a surprise for the recipient and it's gonna make them laugh. So in this case, I'm gonna say translation, happy birthday, but this card design, you could do any type of saying on the inside. And of course, we're gonna stamp also, can I have a treat? And then that cute little paw print. And so this card's so super cute. You could take this same idea and do it with the dog or the fish or the bird, uh, which would be super, 
super, super fun, but I just love this whole rainbow tie-dyed cat theme. It's just fun and happy and adorable, and I really love these new stamp sets and how they work together. It just makes me giggle every single time I play with it. Next up, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And first up, we have this great card by Kay. It's so cute. I love how she colored them and added those fun flowers from Simply Celebrate to the background. Next up, we have a really cool card by Elena where she used the speech bubble backdrop and filled in critter chatter words mixed with words with Say What Pets. And it's so cute with that whole cute cat theme. This card by Melissa is just adorable. I love how she has the speech bubble in the center and her color palette is so much fun. This card by Leticia is gorgeous. I love her watercolors and the cute little I rough you sentiment. These sayings are really great for the reveal wheel and I love how Lynette did this colorful happy reveal wheel with them. And this card by Audrey is so sweet. I love the splash bloop with the fish. Oh my goodness. Here I love the gorgeous rainbow that Elise created. It's a fun pastel rainbow and I love all the little dog words in those speech bubbles. So much fun and so cute. And then here I love the idea that Megan had where she combined all these different cats and different cat items from different stamp sets for a Mother's Day card. Here Audrey took that cute little pup and put him in the on the beach scene with the cute little beach ball and beach umbrella which is just so sweet. And then Elena combined keep on swimming with our say what pets and they are a perfect match together. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with these stamp sets so make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!